Hi everyone, this is Jenny and today I will show you how I made this chocolate cupcake and chocolate buttercream frosting. It's super chocolatey so if you are a chocolate lover, you might just love these cupcakes. So now let me show you the ingredients. Now let's start baking. In a big bowl, just combine the flour, your cocoa powder, your sugar, the baking soda, and your salt. Just whisk them together until you have an even combination of your dry ingredients. Once that's done, you can set the bowl aside and we are on to our wet ingredients. On a separate bowl, just combine your coffee, your vegetable oil, your vinegar, and your 2 teaspoon vanilla extract. Make sure you're using real vanilla extract. And just give it a quick whisk and that's your wet ingredients. Now let's take our dry ingredients back and just pour your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients. Whisk them together until they're all well combined. Do not over mix otherwise you risk making tough cupcakes. Now that our cupcake batter is done, it's time to line your cupcake tins with cupcake liners. I'm using these brown cupcake liners to match the chocolate cupcakes. They're so cute! Now you want to just fill your tins two-thirds of the way full. I'm using my handy dandy measuring cup to do this. You can also do this by using an ice cream scoop or a spoon. Do whatever you prefer. Always go back to fill some cupcake that needs a little bit more batter. This recipe makes 12 cupcakes. Once you're done filling your tins, bake them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes or until a skewer inserted comes out clean. Now let's start making the frosting. To start, you want to just whisk your softened butter until it's nice and creamy. Now make sure you are scraping down the sides of the bowl once in a while. Once your butter is nice and creamy, you can now take your sifted powdered sugar and add a third of it at a time. I'm giving it a quick stir using my spatula to lessen the powdered sugar flying everywhere. And then just whisk all those together. Scrape down the sides of the bowl as needed. Now this is the last third of my powdered sugar and just continue whisking until all of the powdered sugar is well incorporated with the butter. Our buttercream frosting is just about ready for the chocolate. At this point, you want to have your melted chocolate ready. Make sure it's at room temperature. Do not add it while it's hot. Otherwise, you will just melt your buttercream frosting. I melted the chocolate in the microwave at 30 seconds increment. Now, in a slow and steady stream, you want to add this chocolate to your frosting while you are whisking. Now make sure you are scraping down the sides of the bowl as needed to prevent streaks in your frosting. Then just continue whisking until the chocolate and the buttercream frosting is well combined. You might notice that the frosting I'll be using is a little bit stiff. That's because I want to be able to pile on a tall frosting and it can hold its shape. If you want the frosting a little bit softer, you can always add a tablespoon of milk. Now I just put the frosting in a pastry bag fitted with a star tip. You can use whatever piping tip you have in hand. 
or you can also use a spatula to pile on your frosting. Just frost your cupcake however you like. And that's chocolate cupcake with chocolate buttercream frosting. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!